Right, so we're on vlog eight. Um, I've got a new camera, just trying out a, new, a few new things. I've remembered the travel bit, so the dash cam thing will look a little bit different, but it's a little bit better as well. I've also been experimenting with a few transitions and a few scenes and a few bits and pieces. So hopefully this will look aesthetically pleasing, this vlog. So um, I'll let you get on with it and uh, enjoy.
Right, so that was Trans Donkeys. Um, quality event. It was a bit of an adventure getting there. Retford's a bit of a um, not out of the way place, but it's a lovely little town. Um, very quaint, especially when you have to go through past the market to get to the event, which is quite nice. Um, I just want to thank Dave and uh, Jason for inviting me down uh, to play. Yeah, my set was a little earlier than I would have liked, but the truth of the matter was, it was still a good vibe regardless. It didn't matter how many people were there. It, it's a fantastic little place. And also, I just want to comment about the venue. I, for a little town, this venue really surprised me. And for what it had and also the size of it, it's perfect for small events. And if anyone's ever see ever sees any promo for Trans Junkies, I would seriously consider going because it's just the vibe, intimacy. You've got another room where you can just chill out if the noise is a bit much for you. And then you've got the dance floor, which is literally a full room dance floor. Admittedly, it was warm, so it got a little bit hot and sweaty, as you can imagine we're in the most events right now at this time of the year. But um, yeah, it was definitely well worth the money and time. Right, anyway, um, after a re uh, recent, um, shall I say, Facebook postings I've seen, um, there's an event that uh, have been they've been working hard at it. It was a day event as well. It wasn't even like your normal like nine to mid, you know, early hours job. It was sort of like you know morning to sort of afternoon type all day event. And on a Saturday, it would have been expect it was expected there would be enough support, and simply there wasn't. And this is the problem with small events that. I know times are hard for us now financially and not everybody can afford to go to every event and, and I'm sure the promoters don't expect people to be doing this however you know it is the thriving scene and there's people saying oh there's too many events and there's people saying there's not enough events on the face of things I think there's a, a lovely balance and if there are events that happen on the same day variety is the spice of life and you don't always have to go to what everybody recommends but at the same time when some events have an absolute stellar lineup and they don't get the uh, support you do have to ask questions a little bit there so i'm going to leave that as a thought and i'm sure a lot of you will have opinions um, which we'll put on the uh, comment section. Um, I have promoted events myself, so I do know where I'm coming from, uh, what I'm talking about. But at the same time, you know, it is a little bit worrying when, you know, we, we struggle with the smaller events within a small community, uh, you know, whether it be Hard House, whether it be Trans, House, Electro, that still thing, or Drum and Bass. Um, I mean, I'm probably in my head going a little bit off tangent here, but, you know, we, a lot of us live for the weekend. A lot of us are creatures of the evenings and whatever, but, you know, we're also a community and we hopefully support each other and we hopefully help each other to grow and we give ourselves that escape every weekend. I mean, you know, you have a lot of people that have watched the scene evolve, develop, diminish over 20 years. And you've got to admit as well, since COVID happened, every man and his dog decided to put on an event. But, you know, for the people that need the support and what have you, I think the small events to tie up between the big events are what we need. And if they're not supported, then they simply don't happen. So I'm going to leave people with that thought and I'm going to move on to what I intend on doing, which is supporting all events. So whether you're a small promoter or whether you're a big brand, I want you to get in touch with me. Just send me a bit of promo, a bit of detail, ticket links, and I will endeavor to put them on these vlogs in future vlogs because end of day 
let's use this platform to at least try and bring in a new crowd, a younger crowd as well, because a lot of people in our scene have, they know, they know the ropes for the past 20 years, or 20 odd years, 30 years even. Probably been raving far longer than I existed, but you know what I mean. Anyway, let's go into the events. So, Tidy Doncaster on the 9th of September. Um, ticket links and everything, I would recommend you go through their website, tidytracks.co.uk. Um, I don't know if they've sold out or whatever, but I'll be there anyway. Um, I'll be getting the next vlog because I've also kind of scheduled my vlogs providing the promoters are happy for me to do so and the next vlog with vlog 9 i'm hoping to uh, get a bit more arty shots and um, really upsell the scene not just the tidy brand but also as well you know what we do you know not just the hard house community but the clubbing community the rave community if you want to call it that so tidy doncaster 9th of september at, in Doncaster obviously I've forgotten the name of the location but I will have some graphics up and what have you and um, yeah highly recommend you go to that there is also another event on the same day called Synergy now going back to my point about small events and big events and they may clash end of day you have a choice if you can't afford to go to Tidy I would recommend you going to Synergy or either or if you like to hit to both events you know go to tidy because it starts at three o'clock and then go to synergy because it starts a little later you know i recommend people doing so i recommend everybody get into as many events as they can um so synergy um i've forgotten where it is again i'll have the graphics up here and um, again quality line up very quirky uh something to do with forks so um I think it's a forking good night out, a bum tish. And um, yeah, so it's two nights on the, two events on the same night. And 9th of September, you have Sinji and you have Tidy Doncaster. Either which, both fantastic nights, both fantastic brands, highly recommend. Uh, Blueprint, um, that is, I think, if I remember correctly, in October. Um, again, quality lineup with that. I'll have graphics up here promoting this event as well if you like your trance i think it's an old day i'm not so sure i know it's at zombie shack in manchester and um yeah you want to check it out here's the details take it through skiddle and um yeah get yourself there meltdown and um, this will be the week after 21st of october um the apocalypse um as you'll probably know, it's from uh, vlog seven that uh, I did a Q and A with uh, Poggy, who's like co-owner of uh, Meltdown. Um, again, like we touched on with new brands and stuff like that, the support he's got the backing of um, the Shed Collective and all that. Um, he's even got a little bit of backing from some of the tidy DJs and a lot of the hard house community. Let's let's be completely honest. Um, so I would highly recommend going to that event. Tickets are on Eventbrite and um, yeah, I'll be there um, again. Hopefully that will be vlog 11, maybe depending on whether the guys at Blueprint let me do a vlog. Um, yeah, and uh, welcome to check it out. Now, another event, um, one of the guys who works with us at Ultra Tech, um, he co-runs an event with the Anarchy brand. But this event's called Techno. And the clue's in the title, pretty much. It's more tech-influenced. Um, this, again, will be at Zombie Shack. And um, if I remember correctly, I think it's in November. Um, again, I will have promo here. So if I'm wrong in what I'm saying, there'll be something what can't speak can't lie. So, uh, you know, again, tickets and everything go through the relative links. I think they're going through Skiddle. Don't quote me on it. And um, yeah, again, quality lineup, new new blood, you know, and they're not massive big name DJs on it, but end of day, if you like your up and comers and you love a night out in Manchester, recommend it. Um, so those are the events that I've got details for. Again, future reference, any promoters, anybody 
that are attending events or promote events or whatever if you want it mentioned on future vlogs please drop me a dm on facebook or um even uh, go through my instagram on vader monkey j uh, message me on there you know I, i'm contactable you know there's loads of ways to get hold of me um but also as well if you want to email me it's j middleton at j middleton music sorry let me get my facts right j middleton music at gmail.com and um again details artwork promo anything i can use to really show your event off um i know i've kind of zipped through these events on this one but uh, as you can imagine what whatever i say if i've got it here next to me and um it shows you know the details and the skittle links and stuff like that that's how i'll do it um right sponsoring my vlogs is new future apparel um they're running a discount uh, introductory discount of intro 23 um on all lines there will be new uh, products definitely before christmas we're hoping to launch our more adolescent teenager and child sort of themed um apparel um as well in that we'll have you know again you know rave themes because a lot of people again have asked me like well you know I mean, my kids enjoy what i do and well you know they're interested in stuff like that you know and um, also as well it appeals to dodgy uncles so if you have that you know creepy uncle in the back of the corner at christmas get him something he'll appreciate it just um yeah make sure the restraining orders are uh, on standby but yeah it's always good stuff so yeah check that out right up to tech dance music and events right um as again i touched on it on a previous on a few previous vlogs ultra tech dance music have had a very strong year with releases we've got some new music coming out and i have to admit the quality that is coming through it's just coming through the office and that is insane so expect some amazing new releases and everything um again Check out the Facebook page, Ultra Tech Dance Music UK. Um, there will always be pictures and promo. We have a SoundCloud as well. Um, and again, if you you know if you can't wait till release date and you're wondering, well, what's this new track Ultra Tech are bringing out? Check out our SoundCloud. We'll have um, sort of soundbite of the tracks, so uh, you're at least uh, pre-warned. Maybe I don't know if that's the right way of putting it. Um, events. With Ultra Tech, right? It was Ultra Tech's tenth birthday in January 2023, and obviously, because of finances and um, of you know business choices, shall we say, um, we thought it'd be best to do a compilation album, which is currently out there. Ten years of Ultra Tech, Ultra Tech, which will be, which is on pretty much every streaming platform, retail platform. And what have you so you know if you haven't listened to it haven't got it i would recommend you get that um we are planning hopefully touch wood that uh, we're looking at january for our belated 10th birthday event um my thinking is three rooms um probably end up being two rooms finances allowing uh, where we'll have the ultra tech white room um, which will be the trance themed room with sa our signed trance artists and then the main room which will be Ultra Tech Red which will be our sign uh, Ultra Tech Red or Ultra Tech Blue because end of day hard trance hard house go hand in hand anyway um, which will be obviously the main hard dance room um, the possibility of third room with a digital simian um, It'd be more the house and progressive techno but again we don't have too many artists on digital simian so it's not like we can put a load of new artists unless we sign new artists and again goes back to my point if you want to get yourself heard and you produce like tech house techno or progressive tech and um, again email us at ultra tech dance music uk at gmail.com put it for the attention of helen and um if it's good enough we'll sign it basically 
and if you're signed to label and we do go ahead with the third room you must definitely be playing no questions asked so uh, that's the plan um, more details to come at the moment we're just in the planning phases we're just working out finances and budget for it um, I know we don't have long so if it doesn't happen in January it will definitely happen at some point in 2024 when don't know um, so that's all I've got to say on this vlog um, I probably rambled on a little bit here but uh, yeah I just want to recap on a few points promoters get in touch uh, just you know you just I'm free promo I'm, I don't won't charge you I, I make a point of this I'm free promo use the free opportunity to the presenting in front of you just saying um, also events future events that I'll be playing at um, I'm looking more towards 2024 now um, but if I do get anything between now and then I will be mentioning it in future vlogs so uh, I'll try to keep people as up to date as possible um, I'm considering doing interim vlogs so again back to the whole promoter thing um, you know anybody wants their events mentioning I probably might do like a monthly um, vlog where it's like right this event this day this event that day and so on and such forth and um, again with all the relative links and support and everything anyway um, I'm gonna go I probably rambled on and waffled on long enough thank you for the support and um, I'll see you guys at Tidy Doncaster cheer be in